Mike Beck. I'm a research professor in the Institute of Marine Sciences at UC Santa Cruz, and I'm also the AXA Chair in Coastal Resilience. My name is Tegan Hoffman. I'm the Executive Director of Coastal Quest, and we are a nonprofit working on coastal solutions for people in nature, and our main issues that we focus on are climate change and, and threat reduction, uh, as well as water quality. Hi, my name is Janelle Kelman. I'm the mayor of Sausalito, California and I'm the founder of the nonprofit Center for Sea Rise Solutions. So Sausalito being a bayfront community is subject to flooding, and that comes from a combination of rising seas and subsidence, where the earth is sinking because some of our waterfront is built on fill. Risk, uh, and it's risk not just from sea level rise, but also from storms. Resilience, and the need for that. <laughs> reinvent. What we've been able to do is to rigorously value the benefits provided by these habitats. So we first assess what flood risk is like at present and then we assess what flood risk would look like if we were to lose those habitats or conversely if we were to restore more of these coastal habitats. And we put both an economic value as well as a social value in terms of both property and people protected by these ecosystems. By being able to rigorously value these systems, we open up a whole variety of new opportunities to invest in them because they will be very cost-effective parts of your climate adaptation strategies. I think we're at a point in time where we have a great number of models and predictions which are constantly being fine-tuned. But now we need to understand the process. If I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, how do I get my projects to the end of that tunnel? How do I figure out how to actually design and engineer a system so that I can get it funded so that I can then bring it to my community? And so as I've learned more about coastal resilience and sea level rise, I've seen that there's no scarcity of excellent research and science. But what we're missing is the opportunity to make that deployable on a local community level. So the intention behind building a community of practice is to leverage so much of the good work that's already out there, but fine tune it to make it even more applicable for a local decision maker. Uh, a, a big challenge sometimes um, in implementing projects with local government and communities is that it's a, you know, a good project is across jurisdictions in the United States. So having an organization like Coastal Quest to work across jurisdictions and be the glue, in a sense, is really important. Pooling funds, convening the conversation, and helping move projects forward in a timely fashion. Local champions. That is the easiest thing to do. If you care about this issue and you want to have a voice, the time is now. Local champions can change everything and create momentum and get other people engaged. Once we have that on the ground, there's no limit to what we can achieve together.